It's Day, aka Uya Bumi. How are you? I hope you are well today. So you know the drill before I get started. If you are in need of an Ifa reading with a, a reputable Babalawo, please contact me through my website. The information is in the description box. Uh, if you want to know who your Hedorish is, if you have any questions you want to ask Ifa, if you just want a glimpse into your destiny, feel free to contact me and I'll get you hooked up. Okay, all right. Also, while you're on my website, check out uh, the books page. I do have a number of books there. I have a couple of Ifa Arisha uh, guides, practice guides. I have a short story, which uh, features a, a young lady who's going through it and she calls Eshu Odada and he comes and turns her life upside down and puts her in her place, okay? That's called I Jam the Master Key. I've also written a book of poetry, a book about dating. I have a free uh, ebook on my site about dating. You know, so just check it out. While you're there, daydreamawson.com. You know the thing, okay? So yeah, check that out. And um, I think that's it for today. So let's get right into our topic. Asha. So something we really absolutely need to address and discuss is the fact that Ifa Orisha lifestyle is not one size fits all. So what works for you may not work for me and vice versa. What we have to remember is that when we uh, initiate, right, when we take that step, we all get our own particular odus. And these odus come with instructions. They come with um, best practices. They come with warnings and taboos and things like that, right? And even if two people have the same Odu, they can have different ways that that Odu would manifest for them. So it's very important that we be authentic and that we align with our particular destinies here on earth. And that's a message that has been um, I feel like has been coming up for me personally again and again, the importance of authenticity, um, the importance of not um, trying to be what I think I should be or how I should be or base my, my life path on another person's, right? It's all about finding my particular destiny and going towards that, right? And initiation helps with that but so does meditation, but so does just sitting and thinking about one's life and looking at patterns and things like that. So I wanted to share a story from the Odu today and it's Odu Oturo Ofun. And it tells the story of a young woman named Meye. And I may be butchering this name, forgive me. But Meye, went to the farm with some colleagues in search of Ebudo seeds. Um, and you know, they're all out in search of these seeds, right? So some people pick 20 seeds, some pe people pick 30, some people pick 50. But Meye could only find one seed. So of course they're laughing and joking, right? Oh, it's hilarious. Meye could only find one seed. What are you going to do with one seed? You're going to sell one seed at the market? Ah, ha, 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 ha. But you know, Meye is just like, okay, whatever. You know, this is what she has and she's going to work with it. Um, on the way back home, they're going over this makeshift bridge. And <laughs> poor Meye. So she only finds one seed and then she has the nerve to fall in the, in the uh, river. So she falls down in the river. I can imagine the, her colleagues are probably laughing at her. But her one ebudo seed washes from her hand. Now she goes in search of the seed. So the seed is going down the river and she's pursuing it. And she pursued it into a city. And so the people are just kind of like, the people of the city are like, uh, what are you doing? And May Ye goes on to tell them what happened, you know. I went to the farm with, with my folks. They all found all these seeds. I picked one seed and then my one seed washed away. 
So these people in the city give her three gourds and they tell her to head home. And they say when she gets home, when she's in her room, to break the gourds on the floor. So Maye does exactly what they say. She takes her gourds home. Um, and when she gets there, she breaks the gourds on the floor. So now what comes out are these very expensive beads. Uh, was it? Oh, diamonds were in one gourd. And then the last gourd had beautiful, expensive clothing. So Maye went from someone who started the day struggling, right? Not being able to have as much as, as the other people around her and falling in a river, you know, and losing uh, the thing that she worked so hard to find to now being a huge success and being wealthy. So now Maye is, of course, the talk of the town and one of her closest friends uh, comes to her and you know, she Maye is like, man, you know, I went to the farm and look what I came back with when I went in search of a seat. So her best friend, her closest friend is like, okay, tell me exactly how you did that, Maye. So Maye tells her, but Maye also gives her closest friend, like shares her wealth with her closest friend, gives her some of her beads and her diamonds and expensive clothing. But clearly that was not enough for the friend. So the next time the people go out to the farm in search of the Ebudo <laughs> seeds, now, you know, the best friend is like, well, look, I'm going to go with them and get the same thing that my friend got. So she goes with these people and while other people are finding 20, 30, 50 seeds, the best friend picks one seed. Now when they're leaving and they're going back home, when they're going over the bridge, the best friend drops, you know, well, falls, falls, <laughs> throws herself in the river. The seed washes from her hand. She does the same thing, follows the seed um, downstream to the city. The same exact thing happens. The people come out wondering what's going on. The friend is like, look, I had this seed, you know, it washed away. I came here, you know, my friend. She was here, she got all these, uh, all these riches, and I wanted two. So these people are nice enough to give her three gourds again, and they give her the same extra instructions. When you get home, when you're in your room, drop the gourds, and you know what happens next. But this girl could not listen to the instructions. Instead of waiting until she got home, she was so eager that she dropped the first gourd on the way home. And guess what came out? It certainly wasn't expensive beads. Bees came out of the gourd and began to stung, you know, sting her. So now she's running. She runs home with the other two gourds and breaks them when she gets home. And what comes out of those two are ants and snakes. And they bite her to death. Yeah, a little extreme. <laughs> but the moral of the story is do not compare your destiny to someone else's destiny. May Yez or Ri had already determined before she was born that this is something that would happen to her, that this is how she would find her wealth and her riches and become a success, an instant success. Um, her friend did not have the same destiny, but she sought the same thing. So for us, the important thing to remember is that we all have our own particular destinies. And what is a blessing for you may not be a blessing for me. Okay? So let's find our paths and go towards that. Let's find our destinies and go towards our destinies. Because nothing else is going to work for us. Got it? Got it. Guys, thank you so much. If you are in need of Idafa, if I reading or anything else, oh, look at that light, honey. Shine on me. You go to daydreamaustin.com. Also, guys, I released the rap song. So if you like rap, check out the description box. Get them. It's now streaming on all major platforms. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. May our Ori's carry us very well to our destinies. Ashe, ashe, asheo. Bye, guys.